<laughs> Hi, so um, my name is Amanda Perla and I am with Next Step Orlando. Um, just a little bit about me is basically I was your typical senior in high school about a month away from graduating when I was a passenger in a car accident. Um, I broke my neck, I suffered a C6 spinal cord injury and was basically paralyzed from the chest down instantly. So in a matter of seconds, my life changed forever. Um, I spent the next few months inpatient uh, in a rehabilitation hospital. And then when I came home at the time, there were just um, no recovery options like Next Step Orlando, which is um, activity-based therapy for people trying to recover from an injury or a neurological disorder that causes paralysis. So I started going out to this place called Next Step in LA and I loved the program and I saw a huge need for it here in Florida. So my mom and I opened Next Step Orlando in 2009 and in May we will be celebrating 15 years in business. It's unbelievable, hopefully you can hear me. Okay. It's unbelievable that it's been 15 years um i've seen the progress with you since you were on the show which is maybe three or four years ago maybe a little longer and it's just amazing what you're doing and then the people you're bringing in and the lives you're changing so for your particular explain a little bit what goes on at next step yeah so um next step like i said is an activity-based recovery program uh our two main modalities are gait training and electrical stimulation all of my trainers have um, degrees in exercise physiology, and then they have been trained with the Neuro Recovery Network. Uh, we are affiliated with the Victory Over Paralysis Neuro Recovery Network. We're the only center in Florida that's affiliated with them. So basically, we are just um, a center that's essentially an adaptive gym where you are up and out of your wheelchair the entire session. You're going through the motions that your body is meant to go through on a daily basis. You're not meant to be sitting all day, every day. Um, so whether that's getting our clients in hands and knees, kneeling, standing, um, gait training or walking activities, we're just getting them up and getting them active again and hoping to regain function in the process. Sure. And I, I've seen video, obviously, since you've been on the show, I followed I follow you and I follow all of the activity and I, I love seeing happy faces. I, I know there's a lot of work and pain and there's all sorts of craziness that goes on behind the scenes because it is a, it is a challenge. Uh, but I see happy faces. So talk about that because what are people what are what are you feeling? What are, what are people feeling when they're when they get out of the chair and they're actually doing these activity based um, activities? Yeah. So um, like I said, when I was injured, my life changed in a matter of seconds. And I think just like me, a lot of people when they're first injured feel so helpless and feel like life is over. But then they can come to a place like Next Step and realize that there is life after injury or is life after illness. And there is a place where you can be physically active again. And not only that, but meet people in similar situations and be a part of a community again. We see each other so much outside of the gym as inside as well we do things like as simple as go to dinner or go to a movie but we also like rent cabanas at wakaiva and organize beach days um so you really just can heal in all aspects of life physically mentally socially emotionally and i think that's where the smiles come from because you just start to feel a sense of belonging and a sense of like okay it, it's going to be okay. Life will go on. This isn't the end all after all. Right. right. And there's hope. I, I just feel like hope and, and possibility um, is given back, for whatever exactly. that looks like for each person. So let's talk about um, Next Step because you have a GoFundMe program going on. Tell us a little bit about the, the changes this year and what's going on. Yes. So um, we were extremely lucky and are grateful to have received a federal grant last year which let, let us purchase two exoskeletons, which are basically like robotic walking suits. We actually call me Robo Mando when I'm walking around the gym in it. They're, <laughs> they're incredible. I was able to use one at um, one of our fundraisers recently and stand for the national anthem for the first time wow. since I was injured over 16 years ago. So that was special for me. 
Yeah, and this grid also allowed us to get this other really great innovative piece of equipment that we'll unveil soon. But unfortunately, it's so big and so great that we can't fit it in our facility right now. And we've really just outgrown our facility. So we knew it was time to look for a bigger space. And we don't know how we did it, but somehow we scored a prime spot at the Genesis Sportsplex, Sportsplex which to me, I've known it my whole life as the RDB. So I yep. think that's what most people know it as. Um, and it's just a great, great spot. Um, it's in a safe area, obviously, right in the heart of Maitland. Um, it has a huge parking lot, which is really important for us with you know accessible parking and an accessible entrance. Um, and we're just going to be able to build it out exactly the way that we need to, to um, serve more people in our community that need that need activity-based therapy because we'll be able to hire more staffs um, see more clients at one time it's just that we do have to like completely gut it and start all over to be able to do that in this space that we found so we have to do this like really pricey renovation and being a nonprofit and being open for 15 years we have not raised the price of our services one dollar in 15 wow. years because we want to keep it affordable. We want to help others. We don't want to make a situation that can already be financially burdening on an individual and their families even more so. So we really need to rely on the community to help us get this renovation done. So we have started a GoFundMe and you of course can always donate through um, our website as well. But yeah, we're just really hoping that we can get the word out there that we're moving into the Genesis Sportsplex. We want to help more people. We want to get better equipment and we just want to be able to really provide for the paralysis community here in central Florida and beyond. Cause there's a need. I, and I think people, I think people have a misconception that it is a small need, so they don't think about it. But in reality, as you can tell, you're, you've outgrown your facility. Um, you've outgrown it because the need is so high. And I think that all of that activity, obviously there's a whole psychology behind that, getting out of the chair and, and, and being able to feel like you're doing at least something similar to what normal was beforehand. is just such a good thing for the, for the heart and soul. I love, I love the fact that you've moved into RDV. I didn't even know it was called Genesis. So this should, this is all news to me, uh, but RDV, everyone knows. And just, so you're looking, you're raising the GoFundMe, which I will make sure is in the, in the section below. You guys can click on it and donate there, or you can always go to ne nextstepOrlando.org. Um, but uh, Amanda, tell us about when it's all finished, are you going to have a big, a grand opening is there are there are... i lost you for a second but yes absolutely there's um nothing planned quite yet because the renovations um we don't have a set date for when they'll be done but absolutely we're going to do a grand opening we're going to invite everybody to come see the new location to see us in action we'll definitely have some clients doing um, some activities probably up in the exoskeleton and that new piece of equipment I was telling you about. Um, and we, you know, we always say anytime anybody wants to come on in and take a look around and see what we're doing, our doors are open Monday through Friday, nine to five. We'd love to have you come in and and just check us out because that's what that's what it, what I'm really getting at is like we just want the community to know that we are around, that our services are available, and that we're just we're here to help. Yes, you're a big resource in an area where there aren't a lot of resources, which is just such a beautiful thing. All right, I want you guys to go to the GoFundMe, um, whatever you find in your heart to give to their GoFundMe so that they can renovate that beautiful facility there at Genesis slash RDV. You can also go to nextstepOrlando.org. You can see all of the pictures and all that cool stuff, that amazing stuff that Amanda's talking about. Uh, you can see it there on their social media, on their face, on their website. Uh, you can go there and take a look and see how much of a dramatic change and impact that they're making in the lives of those who are dealing with paralysis. Um, yeah, so you, you, your your life, you have you have changed from you have gone through a lot of 
amazing positive things in your life being an advocate do you get exhausted do you uh what do you do so that you can uh da- do you have any downtime tell them a little bit about your life outside of next step um it's definitely doesn't exhaust me it's my passion um Next Step is my home away from home. I just, again, I felt so helpless in the beginning and to be able to turn that into a way that I can help others um, has given it all a meaning to me. And so um, I just feel like that's what I was meant to do in this life is to just advocate for people with disabilities and for accessibility and just just be a resource for other people that that need someone just to talk to sometime or someone to inspire them. I'm never opposed to being someone's inspiration. I know a lot of people um, can be offended by that sometimes, but if I inspire you to get up off the couch and take a walk, hey, I'm all for it. So <laughs> I just thought your energy always is amazing. And I think mm-hmm. that's such a testament to your spirit. And I love your generosity. You give back so much. And I know ne- next step is your baby, your project, your what you said you were put on this earth to do. And I believe that 100%. That's why I want everybody to get behind next step. Let's get them in and renovated to that new facility at RDV Genesis. Uh, you can go to nextsteporlando.org or click on the GoFundMe link below. Amanda, always a joy to have you on the show. It's such a blessing. You do so much in the community and so positive. And I want to get more awareness out of everything that you are doing for our our paralysis challenged um, friends and family in the area. Well, I appreciate it. And I appreciate you having me back on and for your help is spreading the awareness. So yeah, definitely check us out. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm always posting recovery stories, progress stories, and more information about our move. Woo. All right, y'all get involved. Next step, Orlando dot org or go to the gofundme link below and follow them on social media take a look at all of the amazing things they're doing in our world thank you so much amanda thank you guys we'll see you soon